Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cosorex Advanced Nail 92 All-in-One Cream which can be used daily in the morning and or evening and it is suitable for all skin types. Now this cream can help you to hydrate and soothe the skin while improves your skin elasticity and prevents moisture loss. And so when including this cream in your skincare routine, you can keep it very simple or use it along with any other skincare products which you may have at home to adjust it to your skin concerns and of course your skin type and the time of use. And I have prepared for you an example skincare routine which I want to share with you so that you have an overall better understanding of how you can set up a skincare routine. And then I want to get into the entire application so that you can see it visually when trying this out at home. Now, when it comes to the example skincare routine, I did pick some example skincare products, but of course, if you have other skincare products at home which are working well for you, just exchange it, but it won't change the step of when you're going to use it. And again, you can keep it very simple or adjust it to your skin needs. And so if you're going to include the all-in-one cream in your morning skincare routine, then you're going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face using a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. Make sure that the cleanser does not dry out your skin nor irritates your skin in any way. And then once you are done with your cleansing step and you should have a toner at home, then your toner is going to be your second step after cleansing. And then after that, if you should have an hydrating essence and or other zones or treatments for your skin concerns at home as well, then you can use it after your toning step, but before your all-in-one cream. Or if you want to keep it very simple, then basically just use the all-in-one cream immediately after your cleansing step. And then as a last step, I recommend following with sunscreen to protect the skin during daytime when being exposed to the sun. Since the sun rays are damaging the skin and so therefore sun protection during daytime is advised, which can prevent sun damaged skin and at the same time premature aging. So if you're being concerned about those factors, using sun protection during daytime is highly advised. Now I do want to quickly emphasize the cream itself does not make the skin sensitive to the sun. It's basically just to protect your skin overall when being in the sun. And then if you're planning on using the all-in-one cream in your evening skincare routine, you can keep it very similar just without your sunscreen step. You're going to get started with your suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. You may want to do a double cleanse um, if you have one stubborn sunscreen and or makeup during daytime to make sure that everything comes off. And then again, follow with a toner if you have one at home or maybe an exfoliant. And then follow with any essence, zones, other treatments and then your all-in-one cream. Cream. However, again, if you want to keep it simple, immediately after your cleansing step, you can follow with the all-in-one cream and then there you have it. So this is how you can adjust your skincare routine accordingly to your skin type and needs. And if you find this guide helpful and you want to go over it in your own time, then I have the link for you in the description box down below where you can download the PowerPoint slides and use it as a guide when setting up your skincare routine. But as for now, I do want to keep my focus on the application and I'm going to go with the simplest like example skincare routine. I want to keep my focus on the cleansing step, then the all-in-one cream and sun protection during daytime. And so when getting started with washing your face, again, this is a step that won't change. Doesn't matter if you're doing this in the morning or evening, just in the evening, you may want to do a double cleanse. But again, make sure that you're using a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. And I'm going to use Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser, which is great for combination to oily sensitive skin. This this is just an example. If you have a different cleanser at home that's working really well for you, go ahead and use that one. Just make sure to read the directions on how you should use your cleanser since this can change depending on the cleanser that you're using. Do you have to apply it on wet skin or on dry skin so that you can properly wash your face when doing so? And with Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser, I have to apply it on wet skin. So in this case, my first step is going to be wetting my face and neck and hands with lukewarm water and then then I'm using the cleanser and I'm applying it on wet skin. So let's go ahead and do this. Then go ahead and take about one to two pumps, so about a coin size amount of your cleanser, use it between your hands and then gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. 
and make sure that you're going to read on the directions if you can use your cleanser around the eyes or if you should avoid the eye area. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water. Now, in case you should have troubles removing the cleanser properly from the skin, if you feel like there's still some residue left, you can go ahead and use a fresh and soft washcloth which you can wet. And this can help you to gently remove the cleanser properly from the skin. So and now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So now once you're done with washing your face and you have pat the skin dry, then now you can go ahead and immediately move on to the next step. Now the second step is an optional step, which would be, for example, using an hydrating and soothing toner and or an exfoliating toner or liquid, which of course depends on the time of use and your skin type and needs. And then you're going to use this toner or exfoliant as your second step after cleansing. And then after that, you would then leave it on the skin, wait 30 seconds to a minute, and then if you have another essence and or serums or treatments at home that you want to follow on, then of course this would be your third step. After you have washed your face and you have used your toner and or exfoliant, then you're going to move on to your hydrating essence and or serums or treatments. And then you're going to apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, wait 30 seconds to a minute, and then you're moving on to the advanced snail oil in one cream but of course again as already mentioned if you do not have a toner exfoliant or other serums or treatments at home and you do not feel the need of using them it's fine to skip those steps and immediately after your cleansing step move on to the advanced snail all-in-one cream and then you're going to use that one and apply it evenly all over your face and neck now when using the cream it is important that when applying it all over your face and neck please do not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth and please avoid the eye area and mouth area and if you should get it into your eyes or mouth please rinse it immediately with water. Now when using it either on its own or you have used previous skincare products before applying the cream then of course you may need to adjust the amount of product that you're going to use and of course you need to adjust the amount depending on your skin type and needs. So if you have for example combination to oily skin you just want to use a bit of it so that you have a thin layer all over that it feels comfortable and lightweight on the skin however if you have a drier skin type you may want to use a bit more so that it really works as a relief and soothes and calms the skin and so you can adjust the amount of it but again please do not overdo it so you can either go ahead and just dip into it with your finger once or just use two fingers and then use a bit more of course you can adjust the amount of product that you're going to use and then use it between your fingers and then evenly apply it all over. So and once you have applied Cosarex Snail All-in-One Cream, you have evenly applied it all over your face and neck, then you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now again, if this is going to be your evening skincare routine, your All-in-One Cream is going to be your last step in your evening skincare routine just before going to bed. However, if you're going to use it during daytime, as already mentioned, when being exposed to the sun, my advice would be following with sun protection. And so this is now what I'm going to use afterwards. And you only need to use sunscreen during daytime when being exposed to the sun. 
And so make sure that you're using a sunscreen that's working well for your skin type and it should not irritate your skin or sting your skin or your eyes in any way. It should feel comfortable when applying it. And I have two great examples right here. Of course, if you have a different sunscreen at home that's working really well for you, go ahead and use that one. But one thing that won't change is basically the amount of product that you're going to use. So I'm going to use Anessa's Whitening UV Sunscreen Gel. This is a great example that I like to use myself and I personally like to use the teaspoon method to measure out how much sunscreen I'm going to use. Of course, once you remember the amount of it, you do not need your teaspoon anymore, but it should give you an idea of that you need to use a fair amount to evenly protect the skin so that you can blend it all over. So for your face and neck, use about like half a teaspoon. For your face, neck and decolletage, use about one teaspoon. This is an overall general guide which can be adjusted. So if you feel like it's way too much for you, then reduce it by the next time. But use enough so that you can evenly and properly blend it all over. Apply your sunscreen 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. And please do not forget to reapply it during day, especially after swimming, outdoor activities, or if you have been in the sun for several hours, where the sunscreen can break down, wear off, or basically move around so that you can keep the protection going. So for my face and neck, I'm using about that much. Then I'm going to use it in the palm of my hands. Again, once you know how much you're going to use, you do not need to use a teaspoon anymore, and then you can immediately use it in the palm of your hands, and then blend it nicely all over and evenly. So, and once you have applied your sunscreen all over your face and neck, then this is going to be the last step in your morning skincare routine before sun exposure. And so this is an example of a great morning routine and again, as well as how you can adjust it if you're going to use it in the evening. And please don't forget, if you find the example skincare routines helpful, they will be down below in the description box for you to download and use it as a guide. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful, and if you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you want to see the application of other skincare products, which you can, for example, use between your cleansing step and the all-in-one cream, I have videos for you at the end of this video, which you can check out to have a more in-depth guide. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincaring! Bye!